says when our Artel members on the other side, when we've had a meaningful vote, we had it in the referendum on 2016. And, it's, and, if, he, and if he wants a meaningful date, I'll give him one. 29th of March 2019, when we leave the European Union. Jeremy Corbyn! Totally and absolutely unacceptable to this house and anyone. This House agreed the five days of debate. This House agreed when the vote was going to take place. The government tried to unilaterally pull that and deny this House, deny this House the chance of a vote on this crucial matter. The Prime Minister and her government have already been found to be in contempt of Parliament. Her behaviour today is just contemptuous of this Parliament. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister's appalling behaviour needs to be held to account by this House, as indeed the people of this country are more and more concerned about the ongoing chaos at the centre of her government. When she made her Lancaster House... Order, order, order. Calm on both sides of the House. The quest... Order! The questions will be heard however long it takes, and so will the answers. Don't try to shout down. All you do is wear out your voices and you won't succeed. Amen. End of subject. Jeremy Corbyn. Mr Speaker, when the Prime Minister made her Lancaster House speech, she set out her negotiating objectives, and they're worth looking at and quoting. The first objective is crucial. We'll provide certainty wherever we can. Does the uh, current situation look or feel like certainty? Can the Prime Minister mark her own homework on this matter? Yeah. <laughs> and indeed we have at every stage. At every stage. Uh, the Right Honourable Gentleman said we wouldn't get agreement in December. We did. He said we wouldn't get the implementation period in March. We did. He said we wouldn't get a withdrawal agreement and a political declaration. And we, uh, and we did. Concerns. Concerns have, been raised, concerns have been raised about the backstop, and as I said, we continue those discussions, and no one yesterday was left in any doubt about the strength of feeling in this House. But of course, we all know what the right honourable gentleman's answer to the backstop is ignore the referendum and stay in the European Union. If there's an agreement, why won't the Prime Minister put that agreement to a vote of this House? The Federation of Small Businesses says that planning ahead is impossible. Many, many other people around this country find planning ahead impossible because all they see is chaos at the heart of government yeah. and an inability to plan anything for the future. Yesterday, the cross-party select committee, including Conservative MPs for the Committee for Departing, Exiting the European Union, unanimously found the Prime Minister's deal, and I quote, fails to offer sufficient clarity or certainty about the future. Will the Prime Minister give the country at least some certainty and categorically rule out the option of no deal? Yes. The, the way to ensure there is no no deal is to agree a deal. That's the way you ensure there is no deal. But the, the right, the right honourable gentleman, the right honourable gentleman talks about the impact on businesses. I'll tell him what will have an impact on businesses up and down this country. What we learnt just a few days ago, that the shadow chancellor wants to change the law so that. So order, order. The Prime Minister's reply must be heard, and it will be. The Prime Minister. Businesses will be affected by the fact that the Shadow Chancellor wants to change the law so that trade unions in this country can go on strike in solidarity with any strike anywhere in the world. That's not, that may be solidarity with trade unions. It's not solidarity with small businesses, and it's not solidarity with the ordinary working people who would pay the price of labour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaker, my question was, would the Prime Minister rule out no deal? She has failed to do that. Can I tell the Prime Minister this sorry saga is frustrating for businesses, for workers, and many actually behind her as well. 
Many, though, are trying to work constructively to find a solution. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday her former Brexit minister said a new customs union with the EU could be the basis for a parliamentary consensus. Absolutely. When is she going to start listening to people that want actually to find a constructive solution to this, rather than denying Parliament the right to debate it and vote on her deal? Well, we all know one group of people that don't want to find a constructive solution. It's the Labour Party front bench. And that's, and that's what we see on the other side, that's what we see on the other side of, uh, of the chamber. No plan, no clue, no Brexit. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, the time for dithering and delay is over. The Prime, Minister, the Prime Minister has negotiated her deal. She is. The right Honourable Gentleman will be heard. Jeremy Corbyn. Mr. Speaker, the time for dithering and delay by this Government is over. The Prime Minister has negotiated her deal. She's told us it's the best and only deal available. There can be no more excuses, no more running away. Put it before Parliament and let's have the vote. Whatever happens with her Conservative leadership vote today, it is utterly irrelevant to the lives of people across our country. It does nothing to solve the Government's inability to get a deal that works for the whole country. She's already been found to be in contempt of Parliament. Will she now put this deal before Parliament and halt this escalating crisis which is so damaging to the lives of so many people in this country? We all know from the multiplicity of changes in plan we've seen from the Labour Party, there's one thing we can be sure about, that whatever U-turn comes next in Labour's policy, he'll send out... He'll send out Order. Order. I said a moment ago the Leader of the Opposition must be heard, and belatedly he was. And the Prime Minister will be heard. The Prime Minister. Whatever, whatever change in Labour policy we'll see, he sent out his henchman to reveal it all to the world, the inconstant gardener. Yeah. Can I... <laughs> Can I say to... The right honourable gentleman. Can I say to the right honourable gentleman, I think it's time. Somebody will explain it to the leader of the opposition a little bit later. I, can I say to the right honourable gentleman? Can I say to the right honourable gentleman that he should be honest with people? He should be honest with people about his position. He couldn't care less about Brexit. What he wants to do is bring down the government, create uncertainty, sow division and crash our economy. The biggest, the biggest, threat, the biggest threat to people and to this country isn't leaving the EU. It's a Corbyn government. Masterton. Yeah.